Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the alternative or the equivalent to the Windows Task Manager in Mac OS X. So normally when in Windows when something goes wrong and an application takes too long to respond or it just freezes, you need to close it and force closing it. So you will press Ctrl Alt Delete and the Task Manager will come out and then you can force its uh, force the application to quit. Now in Mac OS X, there is something equivalent to that. Instead of pressing Ctrl Alt Delete, uh, you all you have to do is press Command Alt Escape, and that will bring you the Force Quit Applications window. These are all the applications that are running on your Mac, and you can simply quit any of them by pressing the application and press Force Quit. So you can go ahead and quit all the applications that you want the same way you would do it on Windows, but in a more simpler way, I should, I should say. Now what about if you need to have more information about this, uh, like you do in Windows and the Windows Task Manager? Well, if you need to know more about the applications that are running in your Mac, you can go to the Activity Monitor application, and that's by just opening your Finder, going to Applications, then Utilities, and then Activity Monitor is the first application that shows up. Now this is a more robust and fully um, feature Activity Monitor panel. You have the processes by their process ID number, which is a unique identifier for each process, their name, who is using it, the CPU that is using it in real time, the threads in memory and the amount of memory that it's using. You can sort uh, by any of these fields, so you can just display the, the ones that are taking the most memory in your system, and maybe if you just double click, let's double click the finder, you can go ahead and quit that up, force quit that application from here, just force quit the finder, and you can also get me information about that application that, that, that you want to quit. So, you can have a, uh, memory information and you see those numbers change and they are changing in real time uh, for example the memory that is shared and uh, you can get statistics and also which is think it's uh, additional to what you can see in task manager on Windows you can see the files that this application has opened and its ports that opened so really cool really cool stuff really detailed and uh, also here on the bottom you see a general system information with your CPU, the percentage used by users, by the system, the percentage that is idle, the memory, the disk activity, the disk usage, and the network statistic information. Uh, so it's pretty cool and uh, complete and it will give you really a snapshot of your system or, or your processes. And uh, not only that, instead of showing the processes, you can also select other things like system proce uh, processes or sorted by uh, activity processes so it's a different uh, classifications of processes that you can go ahead and sort. Uh, well that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.